What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be testing out a bunch of new products. Oh my god, like literally so many awesome, cool, amazing things has launched recently. So I am so eager and excited to test them out with you guys today. Like, your girl is stoked. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my future uploads because YouTube is always trying to play us and not send out notifications and things. So make sure your notifications are on and oh! I'm super excited, so we are just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Ryan's right, getting the hair out of the face, per usual with my bright yellow clip. <laughs> First, we're gonna start with primer. I'm so excited to try this. This is from Tarte, and this is their Quench Hydrating Primer. Um, I have never tried this, and just recently came out. And you guys know that I have dry skin, so. Anything, the word quench, I was like, yes, I need it. Ooh, it looks like kinda like a gel consistency. Apply this. Ooh, this reminds me of like, there was like this gel moisturizer that I used from a brand and I forget what it was. I wanna say Dr. Jart maybe. Very, very similar. Oh, and it feels so, so nice on the skin. Oh my gosh, especially because it's like 100 degrees in my filming room right now, so this literally feels amazing. <laughs> it also has a really nice scent to it too. Like very, very fresh, which I like. For foundation today, I wanna to try out this new guy from Laura Geller. This is their Filter First Luminous Foundation. So this is like super interesting because it actually has like crushed pearl in the actual like foundation. So it's supposed to make the face like really beautiful and luminized, but it's a matte finish. So I think that's very, very interesting. Um, I have a couple different shades here. I have medium, I have fawn, and I have buff. So let's take a look. My self tan is like kind of old and crusty now. I leave for vacation in a couple days, so I'm trying to like wait till right before I go to redo it. Um, so I'm probably gonna go with the lightest shade that I have. And this foundation actually has a concealer like counterpart as well, which I have, so we're gonna test that out after. Um, but let's see. This guy is the lightest one that I have, so I'm gonna start with this. This one is in the shade Buff. It does say Shake Well on it, so I'm gonna shake it up. All right, so this is what it looks like. There's a pump, hallelujah. I'm gonna pump some out on my finger and go from there. Whenever you first get a foundation, it always takes forever to pump out. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so it's very liquidy, which normally I like with foundations because they tend to be like less drying, I think. This one might be a little too light because obviously we're gonna try to match the face to the neck, but let's see as we blend it out. Oh no, it actually should probably be okay. Blending out very easily and actually giving really, really nice coverage. I didn't know what to expect as far as coverage goes because I didn't think it was gonna be like the fullest of coverage, um, but it's giving me very nice even coverage, so no complaints there. And I did actually go to like a little brunch, um, kind of like promoting the launch of this foundation. They are not paying me or anything to like use this foundation in the video. This is totally not sponsored. Um, but we basically just learned like a little bit about the foundation and Laura Geller, um, like herself, was actually telling us that this foundation can easily be applied with your fingers. But I'm using my beauty blender, you guys already know. I'm actually really impressed with this. I feel like this looks beautiful on my skin and I am seeing how it is a luminous foundation, but it's matte. Like if you look at my skin, you can tell that it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it does dry to a matte finish. Um, and it's actually very, very beautiful and more full coverage than I thought it was gonna be. Like I would definitely call this at the very least medium, but definitely like I feel like right on the cusp of like medium to full. So I thought it was gonna be less coverage than that. I really like it. Okay, so like I said, this foundation does have a concealer. Again, also called Filter First and I have the shade Light in the concealer, so. Let's try this out. Oh, and with this, it's supposed to have like a fingertip applicator. So basically the applicator is supposed to mimic a fingertip, which is actually really cool. So I'm gonna pump some out. So I'm just gonna kind of dot it underneath my eye. I don't know how much of this I really need. So I don't know how like full coverage this is gonna be. Oh, it actually feels really cooling and nice. I like this applicator a lot. It's very soft. I'm actually gonna run this in like a triangle like I would normally do just so we can give it a fair shot. Wow, this feels really, really nice. So I'm hoping this blends out nicely because this applicator is actually very nice. I wouldn't use the applicator though to actually blend it out. Like I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. Put a little down my nose too, just to highlight and brighten. So now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend. It looks like this may be a little bit more sheer of coverage. So like how it blends it out on my nose and stuff I like, but I feel like underneath my eyes it might be a little too sheer. So let's see how it is. Oh, it's actually nice. It's definitely more like natural. It's not like, you know, Tarte Shape Tape or something like that, um, which is gonna be super full coverage. I would say the foundation is more full or of coverage than the concealer is, but it actually looks really nice on my under eyes. Like, and it does leave them looking hydrated, 
which I like. I think this would actually be a nice concealer for like every day. I don't know if you were doing like a super glam, full coverage look that you would want this for that. But for every day, I feel like it looks actually really nice underneath my eyes. All right, so I went ahead and set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier, the secret brightening powder. I'm um, just, cause that's what I had available to me and that's not new, so I didn't feel the need to show it, but I do have a new setting powder for the face. This I'm actually really excited for. So this is from Too Faced um, and this is their Born This Way setting powder, but they've always had this, but then when they collabed with Jackie Ina, they came out with more shades of it aside from just the original translucent. So this is in the shade medium and I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna use this all over my face to set the face. One of my favorite aspects of this loose powder is that it has this that's like permanently on here. So you don't have powder flowing everywhere. So you can literally just close it when you're done, which is amazing. I hope this isn't too dark. I'm almost a little nervous that it actually might be. And maybe the translucent one would just be better for me. I'll try and go in with a little bit. I think this might be, even though it's medium and that's typically like the kind of foundation shades I wear, I think it might be a little bit dark, which is fine because the translucent one works for me. Um, guy and put a little bit on and see if it's too dark. Put it on like down here. Oh no. Oh no, it's actually fine. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to go in with like too, too much, but it blends into the skin nicely. It's very finely milled, which I appreciate. Alrighty, so I zoomed you guys in so we can get started on the eyes. I am so excited because we're gonna be using the new Laura Lee Los Angeles Boss Babe palette. This is like so, so pretty. I am obsessed with the colors. This I feel like is gonna be a perfect traveling palette as long as it performs well, which I'm hoping that it will. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go in with Deadline. And we are gonna buff this guy into the crease. Thank you, Laura, for putting a matte neutral transition color. Girl, you already know. This matte seems to be blending really nice upon first application, which I like. I don't really have to work at it too much to blend it. Then we're gonna go in with nine to five. So I'm gonna start to bring this into the crease kind of to bring some warmth in there. This one is also blending super easily. So, so far the mattes in this palette are very, very easy to work with. And sometimes mattes can be, you know, difficult to kind of blend, but these seem to be blending really easily. Then I'm gonna jump in with Clocked Out and I'm gonna use this to really deepen up the crease. I'm actually gonna buff this into the outer corner as well and then into the outer crease. Like so. Kinda give a little bit of like a cat-eyed effect to the eyes. I've been liking doing this recently. Key is to just go in with a tiny bit on your brush and then just build it up. Cause I used to go in with way too much of my brush and it literally looked horrendous and took forever to blend. So I'm just gonna build it on up. I feel like so much of YouTube right now is just like, you know, testing new products, which I absolutely love to do. But then I forget to talk about like little like technique things that help me, you know, cause obviously I'm still learning every day, you know, about makeup and how best to apply it and stuff. So a lot of times I forget to like share those little things with you guys. So I've been trying to make an effort to, you know, keep some of that stuff in and like tell you guys more. And I'm gonna jump back in with nine to five and buff that on my lower lash line. I may go in with a little bit of clocked out too, but I wanna put this color down first. Really smoke it out. And then on a smaller, more fine brush, I am gonna go in with clocked out. I just don't want it to be as far down below like I did nine to five. So I'm just gonna go in with a little tiny bit. Press it up right near that lash line. I am like living for this eye look today. I really like it. Now I'm gonna go in with on the grind and I'm gonna use that um, to highlight. Debating if I wanna do on the grind all over my lid or I wanna go in with the more yellow shade. I think I might wanna do that just for something a little different. Oh, this is a beautiful highlight though. Good God. And I'm also gonna pop on the grind just in my inner corners. And this is just like completely dry brush. Like I didn't even spritz my brush with Fix Plus. When we do all over the lid, I'll use some Fix Plus, but this is like hella pigmented even without it. I think to do something a little bit different, I'm gonna go in with Hustler, which is like this bright kind of yellowish mustard almost color. And I'm gonna put this all over the lid. So I'm gonna just spritz my flat brush with some Fix Plus and then go in with Hustler. On the lid. Oh my goodness gracious. This is so pretty and so pigmented. Holy crap. What the heck? Oh my god. Ub freaking cessed. Like, what is going on right now? Oh my god. I mean, the mattes were beautiful. Like, they blended really easily, but like, this is like next level. Like, this is such a beautiful color and it is so pigmented and sparkly. And I'm literally getting like no fallout. Obviously do keep in mind that I did spray my brush with Fix Plus, which does help like to minimize fallout. But like, 
with how pigmented this is, I'm kind of surprised that there's like literally no fallout at all. This eye look is literally just giving me so much life. Like, I love it. I'm gonna skip on liner and lashes today because I wanna test out a new mascara. And I feel like when I do liner, I can't really see if a mascara is good enough because the liner kind of hides the mascara. Um, and so do lashes. So we are just gonna go right into mascara. This is new from Hourglass. This is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I love the packaging on this. I think it looks beautiful. The gold, I really like. And it feels very like luxurious, which is very Hourglass. This is what the wand looks like. Honestly, the wand doesn't look like super special or anything. It is a bit tapered, which is cool. So we're just gonna go in and test this out and see how it works. It's definitely not a super liquidy formula, which is nice. It's more like thick and it's not like going everywhere. So that is cool. Definitely separating my lashes well too. Oh, wow. Dang. <laughs> I just like looked straight in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, wow. It actually separated them really nicely. It kind of like picks them up and like leaves them where you want them. So I'm realizing the more layers you put on, it can clump up a little bit, um, which doesn't like really bother me that much because I like my lashes to look not clumpy, but like a little more voluminous. But I think the more layers you do, it can kind of clump up. So this is like a mascara where less is more. I should have probably just left it with like the first coat, but I tried to go in with a little more and now I feel like we're looking a little spidery-ish, but I still do really like it. I would just suggest using only one coat and not kind of layering it up like with a hundred layers or you're gonna get kind of clumpy lashes. But I do actually think it did a really nice job on defining my lashes because my lashes are not long. They are like translucent, so you can't even see them. So this actually did a nice job. All right, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys back out so we can finish off the face. First, we are gonna bronze. I'm gonna go in with the new NARS Atomic Blonde Palette. This palette looks so beautiful. I really wanna try the eyeshadows in this palette as well, maybe in another tutorial, but this does have a bronzer in it, so I'm gonna test out the bronzer today. This bronzer does look a little dark, so I'm just gonna go in with like a little tiny bit on my brush. Oh. It actually isn't, like it doesn't apply as dark as long as you only go in with like a little bit. It's actually really nice. It gives like a nice bronzy kind of natural glow to the skin. And it has a tiny bit of shimmer to it, but really not that much. I'm actually just gonna go in with that same bronzer to contour, even though it does have a little shimmer. It's not a lot, so I'm just gonna use it to contour out the cheeks as well. Yeah, when you go in with a more like concentrated amount, then you can really get that pigment up too. It looks nice as a contour. For my blush and my highlight, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be going in with the Melissa Michelle Ulta collab. This is the Bling on the Glam Cheek Palette. How pretty is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this blush right here. And I'm gonna tap this on my cheeks. Ooh, so pretty. I love it. I've been getting more into blush recently. In the past, if you watch my videos, I used to a lot of times like not even wear blush at all. I'm just gonna blend everything together now. Um, but I've been getting more into it and it just adds like a nice little, nice little flush. Cause I always had a lot of redness in my skin. So I like never used to wear blush because I'd always be like, well, why am I gonna make my skin more red? I was always just trying to get rid of the red but I like it now. And then there are two highlighters in here. I'm gonna swatch both because they're both so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so this one's more like pinky and then this one is a more like a bronzy. <gasps> oh, they're so pretty, but I think I have to use the bronzy one. That is in the shade Bubs. I am gonna go and pop that on my cheekbones. Yes, girl. <gasps> oh, this is so, so pretty. Oh my God, when the light hits it, it's like the prettiest sheen. Love it, and this palette is very affordable. It's from the Ulta, um, like Ulta's actual brand. And you can really build this up to be like, hello, blinding. Last but not least, we gotta do our lips. I really wanna try one of these new um, Huda Beauty, the Demi Matte Lips. I have so many different shades, so I'm trying to see like which one goes with this. I could do the bright red, but I feel like it's almost a little too much with it, like my eyes right now. So I'm probably just gonna be boring and do a nude because I feel like my eyes have like that yellow and the nude would probably be better. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a darker nude. Like this one's a little bit darker. This would be like the kind of nude that I would normally always use. This one's a little darker, so I'll use this one. This is in Mogul. So these are demi matte, so they're not gonna dry like super matte. Oh my God, they apply like a gloss. They feel so nice. They have a scent. Hmm. I don't know that I actually really love the scent. The scent is, it's different. It's not bad. Almost maybe a little cinnamony. I don't, I don't know. I can't like, Put my finger on what the scent is. Wow, these are really pigmented though, good God. They apply really nicely. Very like smooth and creamy. All right, I feel like this formula is bomb because it is so, so pigmented and applies like so nicely to the lips. I just, I don't know, I'm not crazy about the smell of this. 
and I can't pinpoint what even the smell really is. I feel like I will still use this though because I did really like the formula. Like it's literally crazy, crazy pigmented and applied very easily, but the smell is a little bit of a turn off to me. All right, you guys, so that is everything that I had to try today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments on any of these products. Are you guys gonna get them? Are you gonna skip on them? I would love to hear. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.